What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today, I'm going to show you the fastest way that you can unlock and attain mass outbreaks of Pokemon. That's right, the swarms of Pokemon. These are the best shiny hunting odds in the game, and everybody loves them. And of course, you want to get them as soon as possible. So I've got that video for you right here. I have to say a huge thank you to my fearless moderator, Azure Shade, for telling me about this method. He is a super smart dude, and he knew exactly how to do this and his method was exactly the way you should do it. First off, you have to be past the Cleavor encounter once you defeat the frenzied Cleavor boss, the very first boss in the game. You can do this method. Now what I'm doing here is going back and forth from camp to town and then back from camp to town and then back from camp to town again and what I'm doing is just hoping for a random number generator to generate me a swarm. So this guy right here is the guy who's going to tell you about the swarm. That's the guy right at the gate in the orange suit. Instead of telling you to stay safe out there, when you go out and there's a swarm, he will tell you there's a swarm, all right? So you wanna go ahead and just do this over and over and over again until the dude tells you that there is a mass outbreak of Pokemon, and then of course you've got your first mass outbreak. This did take me about 10 times the first time I tried to do it, and I actually thought, dude, there's no way this is actually gonna work, this makes no sense. And then I just kept doing it and it worked, okay? So I'm telling you, do this method, this is the way to do it, and you will get your first mass mass outbreak just like I did. I got a Beweasel outbreak, so I went over there to catch those Beweasel. Some Pokemon are very irate and they will try to attack you. Some Pokemon are very high level and you won't be able to defeat them. Some Pokemon are very low level and you can just throw Pokeballs at them and it's a really easy encounter. So there's all kinds of different swarms. If you don't get a very good one, that's fine. Just try to defeat it anyway if you can. Go in with plenty of items, plenty of heals because you may have to do a bunch of battles and make sure that you're just very, very well prepared even if they are low level like a Shinx or a Beweasel. Now, it's worth mentioning that you should get very well prepared before you go and even mess with the mass outbreak. And I do recommend saving before you go over and mess with it too. And you should definitely mark the outbreak on your map because it's gonna be very difficult to find it, especially early in the game when you're not as familiar with the map. Just use the marking system. It's a very good system and it's a great way to get where you wanna go anywhere on the map, especially if you're trying to find those satchels on the ground as well. Once you get over there, you'll find that there are a lot of Pokemon. And sometimes, like I said, they can be very, very aggressive so it will be very difficult to work with them. You can throw Pokeballs at the ones that have the three dot message above their head, the little three dots. Those ones you can usually hit with a Pokeball. Every once in a while it won't work, but for the most part you can do so. Sometimes you can just throw Pokeballs from the distance while they're not suspecting you at all. That's actually a really good way to go too. I did end up battling these guys just to see how long it was going to take, and I realized that battling them was just going to take absolutely forever, and they ganged up on me in the swarm, so I'm doing a 4v1 right now, which is definitely not the way to go. So what I tried to do is back out of this battle, just get out of there, and then go and come back while they're not noticing me, and just start to throw Pokeballs at them, because they are incredibly low level, and the Pokeballs will catch them fairly easily once they're off their guard. So if you just run away, come back, and then you can start to deal with them one by one. It's not quite as bad as if you're doing the 4v1 like I was doing in the beginning. So this is my very first swarm. Obviously I made some mistakes. I actually came in with no Pokeballs whatsoever and I had to bounce all the way back to camp and then come all the way back here, fully stocked with Pokeballs. You'll also notice I have basically no items. I'm very early in the game, so I'm pretty much using nothing but Pokeballs at this point. But as you can see, it's extremely effective and you can just throw a Pokeball and catch all these guys. The best thing I think about this game is that you can start to throw Pokeballs at multiple Pokemon at a time, so there's nothing slowing you down whatsoever. You can throw a ball at every single mark on the screen and it's really, really fast. You don't have to wait for the catch animation. You can literally throw a ball at every single target and then just go around to all the ones that break out afterwards and throw another ball at those ones too. So once they disappear, a new one will spawn in its place, which is the whole point of catching them. And eventually you will run out of them, but hopefully one of them spawns as a shiny. Now I mentioned earlier, you can save before you come over and do the encounter. And if you catch the whole swarm and there's no shiny, then you can just soft reset and go back and do a little shiny hunting method. I'm not actually doing that this early in the game and I haven't found any mass outbreaks that I actually do want to shiny hunt, but that could be an interesting way for later on in the game. Anyway, you guys, that is the fastest way that you can possibly unlock mass outbreaks in the game. It's super easy, and all you have to do is beat Cleavor, and then you're ready to do it. I hope this was informative for you guys. I hope you found it easy. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the method. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you to all of my amazing subscribers, and peace.